Okay, here we are ready to start our second painting. And I think I told you earlier that we paint everything the same. It's really immaterial, whether it's a house, a tree, or a person. It even doesn't matter if it's an actual thing or if it's air, like I told you, negative space. The shape of it, the value of it, the color of it becomes important to us as the actual thing we're painting. So we're looking at a white canvas here. I very lightly indicated more or less where everything will go because as you know, you don't get a lot of help with this first pencil drawing. So don't waste a lot of time doing it. Okay, first step. Oh, I did want to mention you can see when I was leaving my studio in Los Angeles earlier, I shot a picture of this green tree because it shows us very nice the difference between the light and the dark. But this little banner here, um, I'm, I'm sure you know, if you don't like it, don't paint it, leave it out. So I think we'll be leaving out that banner and just looking at the rest of the painting. Okay, first step, same as before, it's kill the white. And in this case, we're going to do things a little differently because you see we have a sky here that's just exactly like that uh, sky blend I did earlier. So it will be advantageous for us here to start with the liquid white. So the liquid white step, what we do is we take this really wet, fast matte white, thin it down with both the Neo Miguel and a little bit of Gamsol. And you know we're not going to be doing this blade, uh, blend over the whole painting, so you don't really need to under white the whole thing. Uh-oh. You can see a little of that white was adulterated with pencil. That's okay, though. Get rid of it. Okay, so we're ready to do a blue sky blend, just like the one in the sample. So I hope you've had a chance to see that. Start with a stronger blue at the top. It's thin. It's a glaze. We apply it with a scrub. This is just like before. I'm going to use this time, let's do our other blue. Let's do our manganese blue hue. Let's, uh, well, it is the right family just as it is. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, a bigger brush would be helpful. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that looks good. We just don't have near enough of it. So I'm going to come back and get more. Beginners have a, a tendency to not add paint often enough. You know, there's not really a whole lot of paint left on the brush, but you scrub away anyway. It's a much better idea to really go back, fill up your brush as much and as often as you need to to help ensure that you get those strong glazes, not anemic, those strong, clean glazes that are really beautiful. So, you know, I'm not worried about the left side of this blend, as you can see, because it's not sky, it's tree. But I think my, you know, my blend's a little anemic there. I'm going to come back and add another hit of the manganese blue hue. And you want to remember, it needs to be slightly darker than the wet paint underneath or it won't stick. So that's working out fine. Uh, got an eyelash in there, it looks like. You got to pull these out the minute you see them because they really can wreck a nice blend. They really wreck a nice blend. Hard, they're hard to get out. I need, it looks like it, it's a bristle of the brush. Okay, here we go. Okay, and you know the next step, we want to kind of smooth it down with whatever we're using for a blender. I've gotten in the habit of using my hand, my finger, but you can also use a clean, dry brush. 
you know, it's really not so bad that I use my hands to do that blend because all the colors that I use that are put out by, ga by Gamblin will not penetrate healthy skin. In other words, this particular company that I use doesn't um, sell any paint with lead in it. So I just make sure to not eat or drink at my seat and oil paint can easily be washed off your skin with soap and water. Don't dip your hand in Gamsol. We spend a lot of money trying to keep our hands moist and Gamsol will just dry them out. So soap and water will do it. Okay, there we go. There, we, there we've got a nice enough star, uh, sky blend to move on to our next step. Remember the hallmark of a glaze blend is you don't see brush stroke. I may add another little strong zip of blue. Well, I have the blue brush. Maybe I'll do it now. Let's get it up there quick. More. There, that, uh, that makes me happier. Now you have a, you know, as, I think as m at least an hour, an hour and a half to mess around and perfect your blend. But do be careful. If the paint you put on top is not thicker than what's underneath, you'll find you dig a hole in your blend in the very spot you were trying to add pigment. So work it and then try to leave it alone as quick as possible. Okay, so if you recall, our second step is blocking in with a paper towel where our lighter values will go. So I just want to kill all this white before we move to that step. So I'm going to do the area here. I think I'll just pick, well, we did the sky. I'm just going to pick a cool color because when I look at the shadow area of that tree, I definitely see coolness. So I'm going to mix a blue, but it's not like a really pretty blue, that shadow. It looks like it's ever so slightly dulled. So I'm going to add, in this case, just a touch of that transparent red earth. It dulls the blue because it's a warm color. In other words, a contrasting color when you mix them together they dull each other. So there's a nice dull blue. Let's test it. Oops, that's pretty thick. I think I better thin that down a little bit because it's not a glaze if I can't ultimately see through it. Okay, and then just get rid of, kind of gonna go up here into the sky and kind of nail down a tree-like silhouette. And then down here, just gonna kill the white. So we have something to work on. Okay. Soften it ever so slightly. Being a little more careful here where it hits the... Okay. Looks like I missed a big chunk of it. It's pretty loose. Plenty of time to make corrections, but we're sort of getting a feel for where everything's going to go. Okay, I'm going to stop right there.